Hello YouTube, it's Sammy Chase with another toy review. With the release of Pokemon Sun and Moon literally around the corner and a friend requested a Build-A-Bear review, I've decided to review both of the Build-A-Bear Pokemon. With the celebration of 20 years of Pokemon, <laughs> I'm so old. the two companies have collaborated to bring us Pikachu and Eevee. So without any further ado, Let's check out these Poké Dolls. First we have Pikachu. He is Pokemon's mascot and most recognizable character, which makes him a shoe in for the first Pokemon build a bear. One of the first noticeable things about Pikachu is his texture. He's super soft. His colors are vivid and bright and right on point. His shape is a little bit wider than other build a bears, so he needs special hoodies that they have at the store. Although the hoodies get dirty very easily, that's why he's not wearing one. He has no legs, just these little cute feet, which I just find so adorable. There used to be a thread that held his tail to the back of his head, but it fell off after about two nights. My biggest suggestion for getting a Build-A-Bear is to have them hard stuffed so that they're not deformed after a while. Second but not least we have Eevee, a Pokemon with multiple evolutions. She's always been one of my favorite Pokemon and as a child at least half of my wishes went to having one in real life. I'm sorry Mew, but my parents are allergic to cats. So moving on with the review. I actually think that Eevee is softer than Pikachu, especially around the neck and on top of the head. But like Pikachu, Eevee requires special clothing made just for her. When I went to the store to go get Eevee with her outfit, sadly they were completely out of her Pokeball pajamas, so instead I got her this bandana. Since she does stand on all four paws, I once again strongly recommend that you get them hard stuffed to keep their form better. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content and have a great day.